بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم. Uh, uh, we will start discussing uh, vectors, uh, and this is very important uh, at the beginning of the course to describe vectors and how we uh, represent vectors and how do we deal with them uh, mathematically. Uh, first of all, let me remind you of uh, what we mean by a vector quantity. A uh, vector quantity is the physical quantity which is uh, fully described when we give its magnitude and give its direction. Uh, this is in contrast with the scalar quantity which is uh, fully defined by its magnitude only. Uh, let me start by uh, uh, telling you what are the different ways of representing vectors. Okay, so vectors can be represented in different ways. The first way is by giving the magnitude and uh, direction. Let me explain this more. If I tell you that a vector, a force vector, is uh, having a magnitude of 5, magnitude of uh, 5, and it makes an angle uh, theta uh, with uh, respect to the positive x-axis. So let me draw this. This is the positive uh, y, okay, and this is positive x, positive y, and let me assume that this is my vector. I call it vector f, so we represent it with a certain uh, length. The length represents the magnitude, and this little arrow tells the direction. And this uh, vector f makes an angle theta with the positive x-axis measured in the counterclockwise direction. So this is the counterclockwise direction. We move from the positive x-axis, uh, an amount theta. We reach our vector f, which has a magnitude uh, equivalent to the length of this uh, line, drawn to a certain length. Okay. So if we assume that uh, each one centimeter represents uh, one Newton force, so one, two, three, four, five. So this is five, five Newtons. Okay, so we can write this as F magnitude. These two parallel lines, as you learned in uh, math courses, represents the magnitude of this vector. So it is five uh, Newtons. And we say that it makes an angle theta, so F makes an angle theta uh, with respect to with respect to positive x axis and this is measured counterclockwise counter clock clockwise okay so this is the first way of representing vectors the second way we represent vectors by giving the uh, components. Components, components of a vector. So I'll take the same vector and try to give its components. Okay, so this is positive x, that is positive y, my vector f, the same vector, uh, its magnitude is 5, and it makes an angle theta with the positive x-axis counterclockwise. Okay, now we can find the projection of this force vector along the positive x-axis, okay, by drawing a line from the head of my vector perpendicular to the sorry perpendicular to the x axis okay so i draw it perpendicular and from the tail of this vector until that line this is what we call fx so fx is equal to the projection of f along 
the x-axis. Okay. Similarly, we can uh, draw a line from the head of F perpendicular to the y-axis, and this will give us the y component of my vector F. Okay, so this is x component, and that is the y. That is the y component. Notice that this is fx, which is the same as th as this. Okay, and this is fy. We can also consider this as f as fy. Uh, so fy is the projection of the vector f along the y the y axis. From trigonometry, we notice that the fx is the neighbor of my angle theta. Okay, so because it is the neighbor, so fx is the neighbor, okay, neighbor of theta, while fy, which is this one, so this is fy, okay, uh, it is, as you can see, it is the opposite, opposite of angle, angle theta. Okay, so here we can write fx as the magnitude of my vector f, and because it is the neighbor of theta, so we'll use cosine, cosine theta. Fy, because it is opposite to my angle theta, this will be uh, magnitude of f multiplied by sine, sine theta. Okay, uh, to elaborate on this more, we can think of another... Uh, angle. Some students might prefer to uh, give the angle this force vector makes with the positive y-axis. And you can notice that this is the angle uh, phi, where phi is the complement of theta. So theta plus phi will give us uh, 90 degrees. In this case, fx fx is the opposite to phi, okay, so it is opposite to angle phi, while fy is the neighbor or the adjacent of uh, angle phi, okay, so this is a neighbor uh, to angle phi. So now we can uh, write it or express fx and fy uh, using this angle phi. I would like it here. I hope it is clear. So this can be written as f, okay, because it is opposite, so we'll use sine phi, okay? And the y component in this case will be y component because neighbor to the angle phi, so we'll use the uh, cosine of cosine of phi. Okay, so if we know uh, the vector, we can find its components, or if we give the components of a, of a vector, uh, we are uh, fully describing the vector. If you know the x component of a vector, you know, you know its y component, uh, we can find its magnitude, okay? So the magnitude of a vector, which you are given its x component and y component, can be found using Pythagoras. Okay, here you have fx, fy, this angle is 90 degrees, so we can find uh, uh, this length. It is the square root of fx squared plus fy, fy squared. Um, also, if you, if you are given the components of a vector, fx and fy, uh, you can find the angle. It makes with the positive x-axis measured counterclockwise. In this case, it will be uh, tan inverse of the y component divided by the x, x component. So we can uh, switch from this representation easily to that representation, and we can move from this uh, representation to this uh, representation. Okay. Uh, now, would like to make our life simpler. Uh, and we make another third representation, which is called the uh, unit vector 
uh, notation representation. Okay, let me do it on this side. So, number three, number three is the unit vector notation. Let me start by defining what we mean by unit vector. Unit vector is any vector which has a magnitude of one. Okay, so any vector with a magnitude of one unit is called a unit vector. So any vector in any direction which has a magnitude of one, we give it the name unit vector, okay? So, as you uh, might guess, we have an uh, infinite number of unit vectors. But we'll focus on three very important uh, unit vectors. Okay? Those unit vectors are uh, I unit vector, J unit vector, and the K unit vector. What is the I unit vector? It is a unit vector vector along positive x-axis, okay? So the positive x-axis unit vector, we give it a special name. The name of that vector is i. So uh, when you see i vector, uh, you should have in your mind, oh, this vector has a magnitude of 1 and its direction is the positive x-axis, okay? What is j? Similarly, it is a unit vector, but now it is along the positive y axis. Wherever you see the vector, uh, this symbol j, uh, it tells you that this is a vector, has a magnitude of 1, its direction is the positive y axis. Okay, the third unit vector, or the third famous unit vector is the k unit vector. It is a unit vector along the positive z axis, so when you see a k unit vector anywhere, it is a vector with magnitude of 1 in the uh, direction of the positive z axis. Let me draw this uh, for you and see how we can analyze this to represent our vectors in an easy manner. Okay, so this is my uh, positive y, this is positive x, okay, and this is positive uh, z axis, so this is in the space, three dimension, okay, so along the positive x, let us assume one centimeter is one unit, so this is the unit vector i, okay, this is the unit vector j, and this is what, this is the unit vector uh, K. If I have a vector F which is uh, having two components, Fx of this vector, for example, uh, it has four units, okay, while Fy is three units, okay? So if I want to draw it here, fx, so this is 1, this is 2, 3, 4, so I can draw my fx as this, okay, so this is fx. As you can see here, fx is 4 times the unit uh, vector, okay, hmm? 4 units. Uh, one, two, this is three, sorry. So it is four units. Yes. <clears throat> uh, okay. Let me repeat it. So, uh, my force vector, which was given uh, in step number two there, it has, let us assume it has four uh, units along the positive x-axis, okay? And it has three units along the positive y-axis. So this is basically 
Fx, okay, it has a magnitude of 4 in the positive uh, x direction. So I can write Fx as 4 i, okay? Similarly, I can write this 1, 2, 3, so this is my Fy, okay, so this is Fy. So, Fy is nothing but 3j, 3j. So, I can write my vector, in this case, my vector f, simply, without talking too much, f is simply 4i plus, plus 3j. And I say that this is the force uh, vector. You might give also the units. It is given units of uh, newtons. Uh, when you see the vector written like this, immediately you will know this vector has four uh, units along the positive x-axis and also it has three units along the uh, positive y-axis. If, if we want to find what is the magnitude of this vector, okay, so f magnitude will be square root of the x component squared, which is 4 squared, the y component is squared, which is 3 squared, uh, and this will be 5 newtons. And if we would like to know what is the angle theta it makes with the positive x-axis measured counterclockwise, this will be tan inverse of the y component divided by the x uh, component. And this is, if you calculate it, it will be 37 degrees. Thank you.